This is my 15-month-old Border Collie. Her name is Luna, and her job is to find my discs, even when I throw many. She is able to keep track of where all of my discs land. She remembers their locations and only brings them to me on command. Luna, find it. I have always dreamed of having a highly trained dog, and it keeps me company as I run, hike, bike, and of course, play disc golf. I knew it would take a lot of dedication and wouldn't be cheap, so I waited until I had the time and money to invest. I decided on a Border Collie with working line lineage for their level of energy, uh, trainability, and loyalty. Okay, yep. Okay, find the next one. Find it. I'm a total amateur. I grew up find. with basset hounds and always loved dogs, but Luna is the first one I can call my own. Good. And the next one. Find it. Yeah, I got that one. Find the next one. Where's the next one? Find it. However, I'm the type of person that goes all in on goals once I set them. Good. I spent countless hours researching dog breeds, Good. breeders, and training techniques. Finally, my research brought me to a small farm in Quebec, only a couple of hours from my house. Both of Luna's parents herd sheep. Their owner occasionally has a litter of pups so he can train one out of the bunch right from day one to work on the farm. That's the kind of situation I was looking for. So I'm not contributing to poor breeding practices and his dogs checked all the boxes. They are traditional border collies with European lineage. They are highly social, nearly silent, and in tune with humans. Calm in the house and absolute rockets when outdoors. She was born on June 6th, 2020. She was the most people focused out of the litter and demonstrated a high level of intelligence, love, fearlessness, and obedience early on. I brought her home at nine weeks old. And after letting her get settled in, we got right to work. I acclimated her to Frisbees right away and took her for short rounds on the disc golf course. We did lots of training every day. And training isn't always a traditional session of sit, lie down, and stay every waking minute, I was teaching her how to interact with the world. We kept busy no matter the weather, but for the first year or so, I kept our activities low impact as her hips and shoulders developed. During that time, I focused on a lot of essential commands, but also began working on disc golf training inside early on. Do I think any type of dog can reach Luna's level of training? No. I don't think ankle biters or basset hounds would be interested in running full speed around the course chasing discs. But I do think it's possible to reach certain levels of training with any dog before you take them out on the course. I've seen some incredible disc golf dogs, from those that ignore discs, which is fine, to those that easily find them with their nose when asked. No matter your goal, dog training always needs to start small and in a neutral environment with minimal distraction. Always start with a really basic version of a command, and then work your way up to the more complex. Leave it is essential for disc golf and for safety. Every dog should know this type of command. I started by using a less exciting treat, a kibble, sliding it to her on the floor and covering it with my hand if she went for it. At first, all this is very fast. If she ignores the treat and waits even for a second, she gets a reward. I only integrate the voice command once she masters a silent version. With practice, she waits longer and the placement gets more complicated. She's obviously a pro now, but this stuff takes daily effort to learn and master. With that figured out, we started working with discs indoors. Again, we start really basic with me putting the disc in front of her and waiting for her to acknowledge it. With that figured out, we integrate voice commands and worked our way up to hiding discs around the house. Sit and stay were also practiced as she waited for me to hide the disc. Luna, find it. OK, 
Okay, lie down. Stay. To her, it's tons of fun. From there, we took the training outside. I can't emphasize enough the importance of starting with the basics at home and working your way up to a soccer field and eventually the course. You wouldn't strap a pair of skis on a kid who has never seen snow and send them down an expert trail, right? And if you've ever taught kids to do anything like skiing, one of the keys to success is to make it fun. And it's the same for dogs. To a dog, a boring object can be made the most exciting thing in the world. The more fun the dog is having, the more praise they get, the goofier you act, the happier they are. Make it a game. Good. My dog loves disc golf. Good job, Luna. Do it, leave it. Ah. I think she's more Stay. passionate about it than I am. Stay. However, I highly recommend having several commands mastered before letting your dog run around off leash anywhere. Leash laws are not. And I only recommend this with non-aggressive, obedient dogs that respect other people's discs and space. They must learn control around other pets and wildlife. With Luna teaching her to stay calm around things like squirrels, groundhogs, deer, rabbit, and other dogs took hours and hours of effort. But that effort has paid off. Luna. Good girl. I have also spent a lot of time training her to wait next to me while I'm doing things like getting ready. All this behavior is learned. That's what I mean by every moment is a training Luna, moment. Close. Good. And stop. Other important skills include staying close. It's and a little walk. different than heel in the sense that and she can stay stop. within about 20 feet of me. Good. Cross the street. And she only crosses the street on command. But I also do heel training. Stay is another important one. She will stay for as long as I want, even if I'm out of view. These are all things that started with indoor training. I also have taught her to stop on command. This is really important for safety. Stop is crucial to being off leash in areas where there are cyclist cars or other hazards. Luna, come by. Oh, wait. We also worked on left, right, come by, and away training so I can give her directions when needed. Stay. Walk. Stop. Walk. Stop. Recall, though, is by far the most important command. In cases of an emergency, I carry a toy that will get her to come running from anywhere. Works like a charm. But whistling works fine, too. Luna, leave it. Now on the job, she generally stays pretty focused. She stands guard over my discs and waits for me to get there. She runs to the basket for putts and keeps track of those uh, shots that go into the rough. The only discs I've lost this year were from forgetting them on the course, never because I couldn't find them. Luna always knows where they are. I think part of the reason she is so good at this is because it taps into her herding instinct. While her parents herd sheep from one pasture to another, Luna herds Good. my discs into the basket. Lie down. Good. Stay. Overall, Luna has changed my life. Next one. Good. She has given me motivation, and she keeps Good. me company every day. Any other one? Where is it? Good. And the last one. Where's the last one? 
I don't think Border Collies are for everybody. They require high levels of attention, activity, and challenge to stay happy. But I love keeping her happy because she does the same for me.